Good evening, everybody out there in Noirland. Welcome to another exciting session of Gray in the Dark. My name is Philip, and I'm your Noir Master for this evening as we delve into a tale of hiding bodies, evading military authorities, and getting rich in the process. Surrounding me are our wonderful players. Say hello, players. Hello, 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 hello. hello. Hola. Say, say, here's looking at you, player. I don't, I don't, I don't got anything. Uh, yes. Yeah, so we're gonna, we're gonna kind of jump into it tonight. This was a sort of an unexpected session because I thought we were taking it off, but then some plan slightly shifted uh, on my end. So I could do this today, and I'm gonna take off another point in the future. I was actually just told by someone else from a, on a different stream of the channel that they're holding me to the fact that I will take a week off of this and of all games periodically. Because uh, they're mad at me. Since, you know, we're starting yeah. three new ones this week. <coughs> Two Star Wars, and then on Friday, uh, I TPK'd the horror game on Friday, so we're going to a new domain, and we randomly roll to see which one they go to, and it's another sci fi one. So I'm having to put together an, an all new sci fi game for uh, Friday as well in a completely different system. But, since my plans were canceled, I have plenty of time. <sighs> So uh, let's kind of jump into this, and we'll kind of we'll get into the other stuff later on. Um, uh, to, as a brief recap of last week, um, sort of the, the group of people who were originally ta attacked here in the alley and have been looking into that, and and in so doing, kind of finding this odd expanding web of intersecting possible motives. Everything from um, something to do with the infamous project Skip Bleach as numerous people involved in the project are here and uh, other people, maybe they were part of the target to some connection to Tashio Brunotti and other scientists involved, um, some connection to to General Elgrave. Uh, there's there's a lot of things intersecting. There's a there's a dead tune named Dottie. We need hashtag justice for Dottie. Um, and uh, there's also the matter of Zip Gun, the Brickborn the elves like Aldir O'Leary and his shadow elf all caps shadow elf bodyguard Molly Velvet not oh. to mention this mysterious brickborn boss whose name is apparently Inscription who has a former tune studio head Irene the Iron working for him just to clarify yeah. because I've and I also, I feel like I've clarified this five times already, mm -hmm. but I'm going to do it one more time. Please. Is his, like, on his little Brickborn certificate, does it say the word inscription or is it that image? Is it like the man formerly known as Prince, it, his name was the symbol? Like, what is, what, what is his name? You guys don't officially know, but I'm just, for my own clarification, his name is inscription. Like the word, the not word the symbol. Hit, yes, yeah. uh, Brickborn typically are having names that are a little more, you know. Like I mean, okay. sometimes they but have is, names. Is but... something written on him on his body? It's he like does no seem to exit have... or something. He has, he has, he has, on, he has on established, on like established. Like part of established on part of his brick-like face. Yeah. So um, he used to be like part of a building or something. That well, they all used to be part of a building or something. That is a very good question and one that we can get into as you guys investigate the nature of Brickborn. However, um, amidst all of these investigations, um, Scrack Rakim, a, uh, um, a rat folk professor, kind of fled upon finding out some implications about the nature of Project Skip Bleach. He did some investigations and he brought back with him a tale. And I don't mean the one coming out of the bottom of his spine. I brought that one too. Um, he brought back some uh, military intelligence officers um, who, uh, upon reaching the city and seeing where he went, called some reinforcements, and they kind of basically began following everyone. Um, fascinatingly, oh, actually, uh, uh, Duchess, you were unaware of this from last time, um, nobody in the group, not a single one of you, uh, every single one of them rolled like one or two points above everyone's respective passive perceptions when they went off. It was absurd. Um, so nobody noticed these tales. One of them followed uh, Dom uh, when he went to go see Rodol, which was kind of not a good place. And uh, to, you know, Cohen Brothers story short, um, uh, Rodol's bodyguard killed this, uh, killed this person in the street, or so they thought. Actually, he was still alive and they brought him in and then he killed him and hit the side, which really made Rodol bad because he could have maybe bribed him or something and not had to, to, to discard a 
a military officer body, which is not an easy thing to get rid of because they're going to be looking for him. Um, Rodol's not happy right now. I'll phrase it like that. Dom had to get rid of the body of Rodol's guard, who Rodol choked out kind of in half rage, half mercy okay. kill, because the guy was shot pretty bad. Um, Luminous assisted in that endeavor. Um... The group has now gathered and they have noticed uh, so it's still we're still friday morning here um the group has basically noticed that they have several they are under surveillance by people who are clearly military intelligence one of their number an elf who called himself bruce fowler he was a fowler brush salesman um he had a case uh cynthia asked if she could see any of his wares and he said he was out uh she said what about a sample he said he sold that too he and he also didn't have forms. He didn't have any forms she could use to order in the thing. Uh, he told some interesting stories. He just drank a glass of milk because he was, you know, on the door-to-door uh, -door salesman job. Um, so, yeah, uh, that... I'm sorry, did you say a glass of milk? He drank a glass of milk. He, did he came into the bar, he drank, he ordered a glass of milk. Okay. Come on, you played Zelda. This happens. <laughs> Fun fact, I actually, I actually really haven't. Done okay. Are okay. you? Are, what is wrong with a glass of milk? I mean, I don't, I don't. The idea of drinking milk grosses me out, but humans do it, and so apparently to elves. Not in bars. Mil though. Milk is something like, to me, at least. It's you only drink it like if you're eating something like like a cookie or a piece of cake, like something to I, help I with have, it. If you, I have seen if someone a lot of is people. in front of me just drinking a glass of milk because they were thirsty or they're parched. And they just have the glass of milk. I think they're a psychopath. I'm so <laughs> sorry. Wow. I'm sorry. Sorry. I agree with Tyler, to be honest. Damn. I, I think that's an accurate assessment. Hold on. Hold on. What if okay. it's what if it's chocolate or strawberry milk? No, that's fine. Okay. But if it's just regular <laughs> plain ass glass of milk <laughs> is is not a, like yeah. an okay thing to have I've, just by itself. Yeah. I've seen hell? I've seen a good number of people drink glasses of milk, and in fact, I've I've I've. Uh, I, I think a friend of mine, I don't remember the exact details of this, like he went into a thing and he just got like a bottle of milk, you know, like in like a Starbucks or like, a, you know, in a thing where it was like in the cooler section. And the guy's like, anything else? He goes, no, just this. And and like the, the person, the barista was like, wait, you don't want a cookie? He's like, no, just the milk. And like the barista, like at a Starbucks made some like snide comment to him of like, oh, wow, real hipster just drinking milk. I, we get it. What? You're like, you're cool. And I was like, I was like, this is a case of both people are wrong, because you're wrong to be drinking what? a bottle of milk, and this person's wrong to be rude to you. <laughs> okay. Psychopath. Nope, nope. Psychopath. No. Yeah. I'm not. Cause about to defend maybe, drinking maybe milk to, hard. Maybe, maybe no. to move on from the milk. All of you are fucking wrong on this matter, but whatever. It's fair enough. <laughs> um. So, uh, with all of that sort of in mind. Um, uh, the group basic, so kind of just re continuing this recap here, um, Bruce Fowler left once he seemingly confirmed that, a uh, Scrack, Chanel, and Leo were in, kind of, I guess they, they, they might have, he just was wondering if they had snuck out the back or something. Oh yeah, Ambrosia, by the way, is the only person who noticed the tail. Uh, she has now snuck out to avoid the tail. So she didn't do her job because she was trying to lose a tail. Then she tailed the tail and the tail couldn't lose her. And then the tail got on her again. So that she had quite a night. Um, but in any case, she came back and she was like, there's tails out there. And, and Dom was like, legitimately good job. <laughs> Like, yes, you're, you're the only one who spotted them. So, hey, uh, I spotted them too. I was just the only one that didn't leave the building. That's true. You didn't leave the... That is actually a very fair point. Luminous did spot them just the next day when he's like, hey guys, you got a bunch of tails. Like, we need to invent cell phones. Yeah. Um. So uh, in any case, uh, the group kind of were did kind of deducing what they should do. Dominic having been told to stop stirring stuff up and, and in fact sort of Scrack and Chanel and Leo to varying degrees, Leo less, but but certainly Scrack and Chanel ha have similarly kind of just basically been told stop stirring stuff up. Um, uh oh, what Duchess? No, I just realized Leo's not here. <laughs> you just realized. <laughs> it just it just connected like oh, okay. <laughs> don't worry, Scrack, don't Scrack so will happy. make up for him. <laughs> yeah, Scrack, uh... don't you worry, Scrack and Chanel will make up for him. So in any event, yeah. um, the uh. The group basically seemed to say 
they might lie low for a little while and maybe stop looking into things in the hopes that this military intelligence crew would maybe drop their surveillance and get bored. Um, so, we did not agree on some amount of time that it's downtime. And also, lying low for this group could have been like, so 15 minutes later, they're like, all right, we gotta do something. So it's entirely up to you. But I guess I will sort of ask, um, so what's the We plan? don't know who, who sent them. Like oh, so you 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 know almost assuredly it was it is like the Justorian military has sent military intelligence operatives um, almost certainly because Scrack went to the military base, broke in, was caught breaking in, and was uh, asking questions about Project Skip Bleach. Um, oh, another thing they, another conclusion people kind of came sure. to last week was that, uh, I think this might have been thanks to a clue to, uh, a clue point, um, Tashi, that's who Tashi is hiding from, is the military. Remember Tashia, who you went out to yes. the mission? It's like, she's not afraid of the, of criminals. She's hiding from the military. That's who she had felt the heat from and wanted to get out of town because of. And Scrack called his boss, said, can you get him to stop? And he said, no. And he said, why don't you stop? And then Scrack said, no. <laughs> That's made, yes, that was the conversation. Genius. Who's your, wait, who's Scrack's boss? Not Scrack's boss, Scrack's contact, uh, he, uh, Commander Helisoak, yeah. a, a triton in the Justorian Navy. Also, Anthony, you might want to make your name Scrack, just so it's clear. And Kai, you might want to do the same. I'll do that. Just so we see your names on your, on your things. Uh, I forgot to mention that earlier, so apologies for yep. me. There we go. Great. Um, so, uh, so yeah, basically the question, yes, sorry about that, Duchess. So that's kind of the, basically the problem is it looks like the military is now interested in all of you. And so you guys are maybe like, maybe let's stop being interesting. So they go away. That was kind of the conclusion that was drawn last time. So I guess I'm asking like, what, what, what do you all want to do? Do you want to take days off? Like, do you want, are we, are we going to skip ahead a little bit? Do you just want to kind of take a couple hours off? Are you still going to try? Cause you, you have, uh, you have two bags full of money here. Um, that, you know, kind of Ambrosia is currently investigating those, those, uh, those cleaners for you. Um, and, uh, so, I mean, so you could theoretically, you know, kind well, of, kind of go along that thing, but, or, or maybe you just would have shut down everything. Yes, go ahead, Duchess. Well, I think uh, if the military are on all of us like that because one little old rat folk broke into a lab and asked questions about skip bleach, that means we're on the right path, and I don't, I don't know that stopping is what we should do. So my plan is probably just pause for today until Ambrosia gets yeah. back. It wasn't so much cool stop, off. but yeah. just just pause for a little bit and gather some information on uh, the the cleaners that could lead us to um was it Irene the Iron who has information about just have uh, established but I think pausing I mean it's the safe option for sure, but I don't know, I kind of feel like I think it'll just be most of the day or something like that. No, no, a week should be fine. You know, right? A week? I, 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 I don't think that the the military intelligence officers really are going to know anything. We we need to figure out what what they're trying to hide. Oh, no. The we know what they're trying us to hide. The don't know anything. No, no, the no. guy who sent them. No, no. For you guys, military following you, not as big a deal. Military following me? I'm not gonna have that. No, 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 no. We're well, just gonna. What? What? You, your plan to stop that? Can't, can't kill him, so. as yeah, you geez. already found out. I mean, we we certainly can kill them. That is an option. I mean, one of them is already dead. I do not think. Well, one could, idea. can be but explained if they all die. We could also just. Yeah, if they all you... die, the military then definitely is coming after us. Aren't you patriots of this land? I'm an immigrant here, so. Yeah, that's fine for uh, me, but. I am also an immigrant? Okay, okay. Yeah, you too. You too. But I mean, the rest of you. 
You're soldiers, weren't you? Are you just casually talking about killing your own military? This is really confusing to me. No, I uh, w well, wasn't both. suggesting that, but th <laughs> there's something Chanel being Chanel and I were created strictly for war, so I mean, we're I'm I'm down. <laughs> I was a soldier. I would like wow. to add, I was a soldier, and I am not we condoning the, the killing. Man, I don't, I, don't even have, I don't even have to ask anybody to make morality saving throws. They're like, yeah, let's murder him. Great, well, cool. Write it down there. I no, do not no, think no, it I... is a good idea. The military uh, doesn't does not like so yeah, I'm just confused that. about Scrack here then. I mean, well, I, I was, what I wanted to say is if they're looking for something, why don't we give them something to find. Red herring, yes. Yes, give them a red herring. It doesn't have to be red. I mean, it could be blue, it could, oh. doesn't matter, it's all gray oh, now. it could be gray. Yeah, yeah, give them a gray herring. Well, I, I think the main thing they're looking for is why was I asking questions? Well, who's asking all the questions and trying to find out about the project? Okay. All right, so here's the thing. We really, like, honestly speaking, on, I don't know, maybe we can tell them the last place we saw Tasha. I don't well, think that's going to get us off the hook. I think All right. we should do, we should do a uh, big secret missions. Like we, I, I, uh, we run around town and hide things and. Why do you want to be more conspicuous? Yeah, that's guys. just going to well, make them more. They're following, them following us. Things. We can't hide things around town. They're the going to see where we hit them. Well, yeah, that too. The way I see it, the only reason they're following, well, me, Duchess, and Luminous here is because of Scrack here. I don't know if I'm pointing to the correct spot in the You should point <laughs> above the you for Scrack. <laughs> yeah. It's because of Scrack here, see? So that means if we can disassociate with the rat folk here, Somehow, make it seem like we don't actually know this rat person. He's just a patron who just showed up once or twice. Well, yeah, I suppose now that you've been showing up here for a few days now, I guess that's a, that ship has sailed. E either way, I, I need to finish looking into these books I checked out, so it might be a good idea to lay low for day or two. Why is it weird that you were asking questions? You were on the project. You were what? You were the lead scientist or something. It was the questions he was asking, if I'm not mistaken. But I mean, he was the lead scientist. Why do they care? Like, It sounds like I found out some information I wasn't supposed to know. Like I said earlier, the papers that I found indicated that Skip Bleach wasn't an actor accident like we all thought it was it may have been intentional right, right, right. yeah yeah we got that but which see. means which means i was being fed wrong information because my equations are accurate wait you're like top of the science department of the thing right or close to there uh philip you would have been. I mean, there there were numerous sort of. There were a lot of also mages just involved. You were a, you were yeah. one of the leading theorists. I would not say you were the top of it, but you were certainly a a, a major component of it. Um, to that point, actually, give me an Arcana check, and you get your uh, professor done on this. Okay. Yeah. Ah oh, fuck! Can you hear that? I can hear it. Yeah, it sounds 20. like a cartoon mouse. <laughs> well, at least 20. it's appropriate. Yeah, exactly. A 20. Um, it is, it's interesting. If, yes, something would be wrong. Something is still doesn't add up. But I guess I might say it almost makes more sense if it wasn't an accident that this could have happened because you've been torturing yourself about how did we get something wrong and all the color accidentally drained. If it was intentional that the color drained, then somebody was doing something you didn't know about and then maybe you didn't make mistakes in your calculations. Well, maybe. That, that, that's what Scrack thinks, but... Yeah. How it, did that happen? But there would have had to have been a large information withheld to me, otherwise I, Scrack thinks he should have seen it if there was something being withheld. I'll put it that way. For sure. I mean, he wasn't 
you weren't the ones that were actually supervising the creation of the thing, right? The little boy, fat yeah, man. He was R and D. He Scrack probably would not have been involved in 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 building the actual apparatus. No, his his role was more. Who on, was? Uh, uh, but Scrack, this no? is something Scrack could tell you. Is this something Scrack will divulge at this point? And I guess in Leo and Leo could, Chanel could not. As, actually, no, Leo died early. So Scrack could tell you this. Is this information Scrack would um, uh, would would share? Uh, it depends on who it is. Probably, if it's well, somebody Scrack is, is super close to, uh, maybe not. But if it's just like some random military officer, yeah, I doesn't see why not at this point. It is a military officer. It, uh, uh, They're the ones causing your problems, man. Why are you sticking your neck out for them? Tell you what, make a morality saving throw, Scrap. <laughs> They're now our problems, too. <laughs> exactly why I need you to wrap them out for me. Yeah, because uh, he's a rat. Uh, that's not good. That's a, uh, uh, that is racist. Good night, everybody. <laughs> that's a, uh, a three. A three. What did you roll? Three. Morality. Morality. Do it. Scrack. You don't care about the country. You you the know the not name it. of this person, but um, you suddenly become worried about sharing it. You're suddenly like worried that if you tell these people this, they might kill this person before you can get answers, or that they're basically you're 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 becoming worried about hoarding this. You, you kind of want to keep this information to that yourself. That fits with crack. I, I I don't know. I was probably t told at some point, but uh, I didn't really care about anything besides the research. Okay. Keep grass to therapy for this anxiety. It's now been a problem twice. All right. You know what? A I'm anxiety. just looking at it. Can I read that? You uh, got scared, so deception. you left the group. You're scared to divulge the name because it might you might not solve your mysteries. All right. Your anxiety's out of control. I, I, I don't know. I, I said that I... Forgot no, what it was. I know what you're saying. KJ is telling Anthony. <laughs> anxiety <laughs> under control. All right. Here's the thing. Cod knows that. Anthony, that Anthony knows the answer. Dominic is in, was go ahead and roll setting it. Scrack. Go ahead because and and unfortunately because this is so based in his moral moral stuff. I actually need you to roll an integrity roll, not insight. Integrity. Yeah. Me integrity. Mm -hmm. Huh. You're, you're, uh -oh. you're Choose testing. to fail it, man. <laughs> uh oh. And uh, uh. because integrity is when you're you're trying to determine like 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 okay. the moral motivation of people. Uh, Duchess, 11. you could do the same because you also think he's lying. Eleven. Scrack, please roll a deception. Okay. I don't yeah, think you're. Okay. I don't think you're uh, well versed in deception. Integrity. I got a. Can you I got an eleven. Ah oh, man. <laughs> then you both know that he does know the name. Fine. Ah, Scrack. I know you know. Quit playing around here. I swear to God, if there was PvP in this game... <laughs> 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 Where is he? Where are they? Yes. <laughs> I think it's fine if he doesn't want to tell. Uh, the next time he's in danger, he'll figure out that we're the only ones that can help him, and then he'll have to tell us, which will probably just be in a few hours from now anyways if we just not do anything about these military police, so. All right. The, the name of who it was is going to change the military police. There's no, so but it's going to change what I'm going to do to who. Think I there care? is so much passive aggressiveness in this room right now. <laughs> Who's being uh, passive? Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> are we in the bar? I, or I don't know if the they were room? involved You're in, in the this bar, any more than I was. Can I, I, I can don't I want just them being them hunted down for no reason. I just, while they are arguing, I would just like to go to the back room and just prowl around. Check out those potions and things. No, you are not getting into the back room. 
unattended. No one gets into the back room unattended. <laughs> Except for Gianna, because she's not, out of my same you, break. If you notice me going there. I mean, you it's locked, I would assume. You are a spy. I'm just, I'm an explorer. I'm just really bored with you people. I mean, so I need she, to search for things. Is she stealthing then? <laughs> sure, I will stealth. <sighs> All right, if you're stealthing away, go ahead. Tatcha still thinks the best thing to do is just to rat out Tatcha. If they're looking may, for her, they're not she may for be us. the only people on our side if they're looking for her as well. She may mm. have more answers as to what's going on. Well, we need to find her, us. not rat her out. I mean, we did find her. We know where she is. And she, no, she told nose. us what she was willing to tell us. And if oh, she had right. more information, that's she right. could have just told it with... and we could have protected her. That's right, you didn't go with us to Million Oaks, but yeah, yeah Scrack knows. I, I... Okay. I, I remember I was giving you the rundown as a summary, but I said I literally wasn't there, so... Okay, what, the... what did she tell you that you told Tr Scrack? Okay. I repeat what she told us. That, uh, I, that Dominic so remembers. What, what she told us was about the Brickborn inscription oh, yeah um that right. irene worked for him that he's not the charmer um she saw him once and he was running everything oh yeah and he and she told us that he was like behind all of the families or something like that yeah and he has that <laughs> sigil uh, from the note like on him did she say, say anything about charmer. skip bleach he doesn't know anything about that yeah um uh, she about... did say some stuff about skip bleach she said a couple things but i don't have them all written down i was running down like names and people yeah um i was I, at least duchess was just mostly asking her about why there was a dead tune in her bed then skip bleach um what was said about skip bleach. so i guess i'll tell you guys what since you did this uh, let's have all of the other four of you present Roll just in just flat int rolls to remember what she said. Really? Bleach. Really? Stupid Duchess. <laughs> I mean, just I just I just want to. I mean, see okay. How... Luminous remembered what he remembered already. Yeah. So. <laughs> Luminous fo focus and stuff, and he remembered because he took the stuff. Yeah. Fifteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Fifteen. 14. Okay. Hey, you actually hey. did pretty decently. Aren't you, aren't you the spy intelligence person here? I mean, you worked for intelligence, not an intelligent build or anything. Are you, are you saying she's not intelligent? No. With her security. Um, <laughs> killing people. We established that the only one that has intelligence in this group is Scrack, and the oh, rest of rat. us have just really tried our best out here. Honestly, <laughs> ta all Tasha sort of told you guys uh, is stuff that has been sort of confirmed numerous times, and amusingly... It's stuff Scrack kind of was fighting out of it. <laughs> Ta Tasha's main question was, did Halia have a connection to the Shadow Elves? Tasha wanted to know that. Oh, that's right. Know. Tasha, yeah. because, ta so basically, Tasha suspects what you now suspect, that the Shadow Elves had something to do with this. So I guess that is a thing that would make sense for you guys to, given everything Scrack's been doing, you would remember that core component. The Tashia Irene provided Tashia with stolen records about Skip Bleach. Now Tashia's on the run mm -hmm. from the from the military. So some, something's going on somewhere. But Tasha has stolen records? Tasha, the information Tasha had that Scrack then found in her apartment. Like, it wasn't the literal documents, but it was like stuff she'd done based on those. The whole okay. reason Scrack thought of this is because Irene got her stolen documents from the military. Was it from Nelson? Whoever? She did not tell you who it was from. Not Nelson, but... Elgrave. Elgrave. She did so... not say. She simply... Um, ooh, I'll tell you what. Make an insight roll, Duchess. Hearing all this again. Insight. Or integrity if it's higher. You can do your choice of those. Uh, integrity is higher. Yeah, oh, do integrity. Wow. By one. By, <laughs> um, okay, so that is a 15. I'm going to give it to you with a 15. 
I appreciate that. <laughs> Tasha, what Tasha told you about Dottie's death is that she came home to her place. Dottie was dead. Irene got there, you know, once she contacted her, like Irene let her know, basically said, you need to get out of town. Tasha is now hiding out. Now you guys suspect Tasha's hiding from the military. Mm -hmm. You wonder if maybe what Irene was telling Tasha, you're not necessarily saying that you believe this because who knows whatever, but Tasha might think that the military did this to Dottie for some reason. Because you know Dottie had a connection to Elgrave. Mm. Irene's the one that told her to run? Huh. Irene said, get out of here. Get out of town. Gosh, well, she's in the same boat. Have I are. missed the point? What are you telling anything. me? But no, Irene is an interesting character then because mm. she seems to be like the bad guy. But if she was helping Tasha, then maybe she has some other things cooking. Irene is part of the mafia, is that right? She I, mean, I don't know the this guy inscription. But but Duchess, in answer to your question, the implication is is based on based on this conversation coming back and him bringing up this with Tasha and the new stuff kind of putting two and two together, there's a you wonder if Irene was implying that Tash, Tashi didn't tell her, tell you guys who was after her, but because Irene said, get out of town, because what happened to Dottie, implying, like, who did this might come for you now since this was in your house. Ta maybe, maybe Irene was indicating that the military killed Dottie. Yeah. Which means Irene might know some things. Oh. But Duchess knows the military, or at least the person who killed Dottie, or she has a good theory. Who does she think killed Dottie? Elgrave. So, El yeah. That Between gulps. <laughs> God <damn. laughs> oh, God. <laughs> well, it, it's, it sounds to me like we need to do two things. One is investigate this inscription fellow more. And Which the is, second... Uh, yeah. Which ahead. is what we were going to do by talking well, to... Irene. Yeah, go up the chain from the cleaners to Irene to inscription. That's one plan. Though it seems like we're not currently hostile towards them. And we need to find out more about the Shadow Elves. Okay, hold on. So the power structure of the people who tried to kill me or these folks was... Okay, Olire sent his sent a bunch of elf goons over to my place with uh, and they were told just to shoot this place up because yeah. Natasha Brunotti gathered up all these people over here for a meeting we had chased the elves all the way back to Olire and what, what clues did we get from Olire he said that um, Maybe we should talk to Molly. Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> um, Molly, Molly was the one. Yeah. What you sort of got from Aldir was uh, that he was actually legitimately, he was surprised and sad to hear of Dottie's death as he was one of her, you know. Yeah. Clients. Uh -huh. um, he fell into deep depression. Yes. And Aldir claims that it was Tashia who tried to kill you all. He put the pin on the bugbear. He 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 admitted culpability in that basically he said he introduced her to some hired guns from the Olira family. Or to some you know, to some hired elf guns. That's what he said. No, he's lying. But like he claims it was Tashia, and then the Brickborns claimed it was Leary. And then it, somebody it, else is going to claim it was the Brickborns. And... Is this going to be some Spider-Man pointing memes or something like that? Yeah. <laughs> That's the idea, yeah. You can I, I, trust... You, you guys, I think you guys are pretty confident oh, that... I, I, I think everyone knew Olire was lying at the time. So. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you're, you're fairly confident Tashia did not put the head out on you. I'll, I'll, I'll grant it, that to the group. Is Chanel still sneaking off? Yeah, oh yeah, Chanel I'm so sorry, Chanel. You tried to sneak away very long ago. What did you roll to sneak? Seventeen. 
17. What is, uh, Luminous, Luminous you, would sees, yeah. you would notice her doing that. Would you, would you mention it? Would you say anything? Yeah, probably. Just like, hey, boss, is she allowed back there? Bar it doesn't herself? work for hey, the hey. establishment. Yeah, yeah, and she does. Yeah. Like, oh, hey, so, yeah, Chanel, you are, you are called out when trying to go off on your own to the back room. I'm looking for the maps. Where do you keep your maps? Not there. <laughs> Lock it up. How do, who keep maps in the back room? Where, where else? How would Bar do you have maps? It? Well, this. Haven't you heard? Any, you just go to a tavern. Do you have any artifacts? Maps, but... I practically live here now. Artifacts, treasures. <laughs> you technically really please, don't live here. <laughs> any clues? Well, if you want treasures, let's see. I've got this 130 brandy from just Soria. There's this nice fine whiskey from. <sighs> Pull off all the dust on it and. What the hell? We still have this? Oh man. <laughs> Oh, jeez. Oh, shit, this is poison. No, um... <laughs> wait, wait, what? Why is, the Why is the turpentine here? Why do you keep the turpentine? Who keeps the turpentine with all the alcohol? Um... Alright, so... I don't know what the... So, I guess the best thing to do is... It's pretty clear that the biggest threat to us, I mean, the biggest threat to me as well, is the feds. Uh, just in general. And the military <laughs> part of the feds, that's double worse for me. Yeah. So, uh, right now, that's the biggest problem for, well, me in particular. Uh, so, uh, if we can somehow. Could just lose them. So, that's why, going back to that, I think we should, uh, somehow absolve most of us from. Culpability or knowledge of Scrack. Are you gonna kill Scrack? Not today. Oh no, no. Then the <laughs> then the military will definitely try to kill me because would they? Maybe they'll just say problem solved. No offense. <laughs> <laughs> the only way I can see them doing that is if they think I was following a bad lead and they're willing to let it lie. So. Wait, then why don't we just send you out to follow a bad lead? <laughs> Who knows how long it'll take before they... It uh... could make them think that we are all leaving town. Or we could just leave town without, without them knowing. Or that. Like, all right, but where would we go and for how long? <laughs> Well, I think uh, we're going we to come back to town to, to solve travel. the mysteries, anyways. I think yeah, at some point we're going to need to travel to the um, Shadow Elves, whatever Shadow Elves area, or the Fey area. Or the Fey. Oh, maybe the Fey would be more. How does one even travel there? Or maybe they'll want to kill us on sight. We should probably hold off on going to either of those places until we at least yeah. understand, like, what. Real I just wouldn't even travel is. to the I agree. Shadow. Very I... expensive streetcar, as I remember. Right, I... Phil? It's a pretty expensive, yeah. It's the, the trolley to the other to the to the the sort of adjacent or dimensions. A, or a gate. Possibly a gate. There there may be standing gates you could go through free if you had connections to either Fay. Yeah, or, let's or let's Shadow. hold up on the expense. Um <laughs> I'm going to say that you guys, just to kind of have things move a bit here, because um, yes, it please. seemed like, though you're not saying you're going to do nothing, it seemed like certainly waiting for a while. I'm actually going to say that this these conversations have taken a few hours of your time. Correct. Because uh, I've just made a couple of rolls here, and, and I... All I, right. Let's I'm, move the story along. Uh, <sighs> well, how did you fuck us over, man? What I did you do to us? I, I rolled... I rolled... What if I'm gonna tell you something out of game, and then I'll present it in. What have you done? I was rolling on behalf of Ambrosia, and Ambrosia was casing two businesses for you, and on one of them, she rolled amazing, and on one of them, she rolled terrible. So to that point, Ambrosia comes walking back in the doors. Oh, actually, wait. 
did you tell Ambrosia to like sneak back in, or should Ambrosia? Uh, I did not tell her, her to sneak let's, back let's in. Let's see so if she would have fought for herself whatever. to have snuck back in. All right, Ambrosia's A been doing six. So uh, Ambrosia <laughs> walks back in through the front doors. So this... What is Ambrosia again? Her... Ambrosia is an orc. Orc. Thank you. Yeah. Hey, boss. And she's kind of just wearing like a pinstripe suit. You know, she looks kind of. Oh, hey, hey, boss. Ambrosia. All right. Oh. I quickly wait, was look I outside. To sneak back in. They're all. Uh, if you if you look at Luminous, make a make a make a peek through the blinds check. Make a perception roll. Yeah. What's do? She comes back and like, wait, wait a minute. Hold on here. Uh, Are there now two groups of populations chasing us? Twenty-one. With a twenty-one, I'll say that you kind of surreptitiously peek, and as Ambrosia goes in, you see a bunch of guys who are like reading newspapers, looking at their watches, tying their shoes, all suddenly converge together, and they're almost doing the Spider-Man thing of, "How did she? <laughs> she just? How did? What? And you know, one of them's like, somebody start watching the back of the building, you know, whatever, etc." Um, Ambrosia kind of comes back in, um, says, "Hey, boss, I, uh, oh. I." Uh, I checked out those places for me. For you? Okay. Mm. Yeah. No, uh, there's no feds or anyone else in the bar. Well, I mean, right? just us. Yeah, no, no, it's just you guys. There's no customers. Like, I, Cynthia's the, here with the kid. Yeah, right. right. There, there's still the guys across the street. Yeah, they're all still out there, but they didn't follow me. Yeah. But now they know I'm back. <laughs> I can only yeah. shake my head. And, all right, fine, yeah, whatever. I guess I should have maybe tried to sneak back in, but I didn't think of it. Right, but then, I was right, excited because, right. boss, good news. Oh, I checked out. I checked out these two places. Okay. Okay. All right. Willie the washer, as far as I can tell, is a great launderer. And Dryer Dreyfus, as far as I can tell, is a great launderer. <laughs> They're both amazing. Which is the one we heard had a more reputable? Because we did hear one was Willie, slightly Willie better the than washer. the other. I think is the washer is the one we heard. Right, was Willie the washer than... was heard yes. slightly uh, better. Uh, yeah, the, the Toots the tortoise suggested Willie the washer and not Dryer Dreyfus. Okay. So I have to clarify. Yeah. We're both talking about the illegal act when we say laundering, right? Or are you talking about their uh, garment cleaning skills? Ah. Willie the Washer runs a dry cleaning business. That is a front for cleaning money. Okay. Dryer Dreyfus makes jerky and fruit leather as a front for laundering money. Yep. That doesn't make sense. Sure. Okay. He dries oh, no. it out. It smells really good there, boss. Oh, that sort of dry. Well, I mean, you can launder money. <laughs> launder money in a lot of places, I assume. Yeah, I suppose. Back in these days, it's actually much easier. It's all, there's it, there's only cash businesses. <laughs> so I guess Willie the Washer's on the up and up. Like, what? We weren't asking about their drying skills. We were asking about their connections to. Uh, to uh, Irene. Well, we were right. also, also going to so, employ their services. Here's what I know. Willie the Washer. Now, I was doing a good job, so I wasn't like asking names or anything. But Willie the Washer operates... for the funny pages. Which Duchess, you know, is the Toon Mafia. And Dryer Dreyfus also operates for the funny pages. So, that's who operates them. Wait, they're both... Are they both yeah. connected to Irene? Which makes remember, sense. She's a and remember, I'll just say to be a dick and to cast all this whatever. He, this is what this is what you guys are being told. She rolled really good on one and really bad on the other. 
Oh man, Scrack doesn't know this. Well, if we're gonna Scrack go off of the information Toots the Tortoise gave us, then it matches up with, you yeah. know, the washer let's, at least. Let's. Granted, she could should... be lying, but she really thought I was we like, should trust... like her. So. Yeah. I don't have any reason to doubt her. While Ambrosia is uh, out of character, uh, yeah, out of character, uh, out of not speaking through my character right now, uh, Dominic knows Ambrosia is, for the most part, competent. She just, you know, doesn't she do anything until someone says to do something exactly explicitly. But she's okay when, when I tell her to do something, so I'll trust her on this and say, all right, you did well, uh, Ambrosia. Uh, Thanks. Have a drink and uh, rest up. Cynthia pours Ambrosia whatever her favorite thing is. She mm -hmm. has some. All right, and... Uh, now, how do we lose these bozos outside in order to actually go to Willy? I mean, the uh, best place would... Hmm. Go ahead. Uh, Ambrosia, what time does Willy's close? Considering the time it is right now. Uh, you've got, like, two hours. Couldn't we, like, theoretically just give both... If we're not sure, couldn't we just give both of them like a small amount of money and then whatever happens, you know, based on the experience with that, like we're, we risk losing a little bit, but all right, okay. just a thought. What? Okay, so where? Do, what's the cover story of how we came across old world money? I mean, it, do they need a cover story granny's, from us? I feel like right? the whole I found this. Did. I found this money. Please. Okay. True, true, true. Which I'm is not, technically true. Money the one that asks us whole... where we got it and demands yeah. an answer is the one we don't go to. The, now, yeah. hold on a the second. The whole point is that where they, did they all make of up this the cover story. Non-sequential unmarked <laughs> bills come from. Right, what am I thinking? I'm, this is this is my own what line of work. Yes. <laughs> now, hold on a second. What were you going to do with all this heroin? <laughs> what the fuck do you think I'm going to do, man? <laughs> okay. Strike that from the record. Uh, of course. Don't I wonder know what's on there. How this thing works. <laughs> uh, I mean, if okay. you want, I can lead them astray unless you think I'm needed at the launders. I, I was going to suggest the same, except that there's too many of them now. Is there enough of them for all of us? How much do I count? Four? Are we going to area 51 this? They can't stop all of us with Naruto run past them. I mean, they may are... even send more than one, depending on who's out there. Like, there are currently... The ones they see as threats. Of what you, of who you've seen, there are four, but you think there there is a car down the street and there might be a body there, too. There's at least four, possibly more, so... That's the real problem of the... Uh, is there somewhere else we can something. all go that has a, 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 a fake way out? We could just go in and never come out of it. You know, every house, right? Yeah, you know, all the other houses that we know of that have secret exits. Oh, well, the, oh. Dominic works for the m mob. What? You don't know well, what, it could... what happened technically, in the past. Technically, boss, I have my own apartment now. It's just anywhere I put it. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. It's not a great apartment. It's... Yeah, I haven't shown anybody yet, but I, oh, I, is there I a have. Oh, spell you have or something? <laughs> it's, it's, it, it'll suit your needs fine. It's yes. adequate. Mm -hmm. Yes, exactly. So I'll say, okay, you know, so, so when Scrack brought up, you know, talking with the family, it's like, mm -hmm. I'm not going to oh. bother my family anymore. Given my my point happens. being, you have to have somewhere to go to lose the tail. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I mean, it's true, he but didn't work out too well. He lost I, that tail too well. I'm kind of a tourist in this place. So I don't really know it very well. You don't. Okay. Oh, let's go to the movies. Is is there like a Tune Amazon or something? Like, is there is there a place that just sells a bunch of Tune items? <laughs> I mean, ah, uh, you mean a, a Tune department store? There, there will definitely yes. It's a department store in this area. Yes, you get. There are definitely lots of stores that sell like weird two nonsense in in Hollyberry for sure. So my best idea 
How not much money greasy. do I have? <laughs> a lot. <laughs> or, I mean, or, theoretically, you have a lot. You just got to change it. Or c can we go somewhere that the feds won't follow us? The most, uh, my best idea is to go to some really crowded, like, rush hour place, like the equivalent of Grand Central Station. Do I know place. the best way to lose these guys as, like, a, a lose their, lose the tail? Let me think on what skill that would be. Sorry, Cobble, where you finish your thought? That was my thought. Just oh, you just would literally go to a crowded place. Okay. Um, roll a, yes, because you definitely would have some of this from your backstory that unlike some of the other former spies in this group, you haven't shared with everyone because you're <laughs> correctly. Mm -hmm. um, go ahead and roll. Uh... <laughs> Are you proficient in stealth? Yes. Then make a stealth roll. It's kind of like, this is like, it, it's almost like you're thinking about your stealthing. I'm fine with that. Oh, okay. So that is a 17 plus 4, 21. I mean, here's another thing I think you, you, you didn't hear, or maybe you weren't present for, but like, Scrack was very amusingly explaining how he lost the tails by doing exactly what he learned to do in the military handbook. And everyone was like, oh, yeah, yeah well, was they were military people literally follow you. So they wrote that handbook. They know they they were looking, you know. Uh, so, yes, Duchess, you you know many ways to try to, like, lose tails. Uh, definitely going to a crowded area can help. Um, you also, I mean, Duchess, well, it's much easier for you because you can kind of, you know, alter appearances. I mean, it, it would be very easy for Chanel because Chanel could just round a corner and change garment and, you know, walk a different direction. I actually would like to be... To look like I was trying to lose a tail, but actually draw them after me. Oh, you well, and I would say, uh, why don't you make a stealth roll as well? Um, and Duchess could kind of give you guidance on this if you don't do as well. But Duchess says you can certainly like explain some some techniques and scrack the way these sound. This sounds like the most advanced, you know. Like this is fascinating. Like wow, they never covered this in <laughs> rudimentary spycraft. Why did I stop at one hundred and one yeah. and not take the advanced course? Oh my god. <laughs> Well, exactly. I, I only had I had a credit credit cap on how, how many I could take oh per. <laughs> <laughs> I had to do the, the basic training, but yeah. you didn't have the prereq the other prerequisites <laughs> to go into uh, spycraft. Uh, that, major. that being said, yeah. I can slip away in small spaces pretty easily. Yeah, uh, yeah, Scrack also. Yeah, you really yes. could. <laughs> I like the idea that Scra all Scrack really had to do if he thought someone... If, I guess, Scrack also didn't know they were tailing him. If Scrack knew someone was tailing him, he could just go through a crack in the wall. Scrack, Scrack checked, oh, checked, oh, checked oh, several oh. times. He just, like, you know... No one's there? Oh, well, I'll still can, turn right twice um, and left. Um, the... He can do a third man and go into the sewers. Exactly. Of the Oh, we could just go into the sewers. Oh, he's I, I wouldn't not going down, down there. There's poo gas. From the bar. Poo gas. <laughs> Could there be a sewer entrance in the, <laughs> in the bar? There. there has to be, huh? We have I, to be able to smuggle stuff. Uh, well, I suppose. Oh man, I wish I wish I had my luck mechanic from all these other games. Question. Uh, yes, go ahead, Duchess. How? Uh, when when we were talking about this, how many of the tune items that were teleportation items actually made the cut? Um, I think they exist now. I mean, they're going to be very expensive. You guys yeah, do have a lot expensive. of money, so you could get them. Uh, they'd be equivalent to, like, you know, like, the rarity of the magic item in question in, like, a D&D, &D, you know, cosmology. So they might be a lot, but, uh, um, I mean, if you think about how expensive magic items in D&D &D are, it's, it kind of is insane. <laughs> uh, you know, thousands thousands oh i'm not that rich okay or or uh or no i'm sorry because each uh no it's like they are like that like uh depending on the level of it like which one are you thinking of in, in, in specifically either the saw or the the paint brush that would oh those won't be quite as crazy those would be more in the in the, they would be hundreds but not like all right still too still too poor okay thank you no. i mean the party has the money to do that but <laughs> Individually, because you guys theoretically, what you have like a hundred grand, something like that. How much you have? Yeah, it's, it's a lot. Um, so, uh, that because those would probably be more like uncommon items. Uh, okay. 
So um, we want to go somewhere crowded and... Dominic, roll a d100 for me. Okay. You know what number I want to roll? Hey, nine. Worms. I don't know what number you want to roll. It's 58. 58. It's minus 11. Um, you do not have any kind of underground... You, you uh, have some, like, fake floor panels where you can store stuff, but you don't have, like, a passage okay. to the underground right. tunnels here, unfortunately. So, unfortunate. So, no, we can't do that. So, I guess... All right, so, thinking about that, Duchess is able to slip away if we're in a padded area. So can Chanel here. Scrap can as well. The only... The one of us who is most conspicuous is probably Luminous, as being one of the rare few dragonful dragon kin. Isn't that right? No, there there is a decent population of them in in the city. They're but not... he's specifically also like recognizably he's... a white dragon kin, so that's a much uh, harder. He's great. Uh, Thank you. Yeah, I was gonna say, you Wait. can't tell exactly what kind of shade I am. Excuse Do we me. know yes, about he's... your magic item? What? what magic item? Sorry, Luminous. Do we know about your magic apartment door thing? Yes, no, no, not yet. No. Okay, never mind. Spell. It hasn't come you, up you, yet. You know about his magic item being uh, that lipstick that he put on, and everyone tried to murder uh, Dominic yeah. because of that. No one's. Uh... Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! What if we use that lipstick? Oh no! It only worked like two percent of the time. But in character, we don't know that. Yeah. The one time we uh, did it, it worked. Leo, Leo thought uh, Leo oh, did tell right. you in character. He, yeah. I don't think he uh, knew that. He Leo simply said it a, might not work all the time. Yeah, because he didn't it, know it's more a, because it is a prototype. It doesn't. Right. He knew he knew it's a prototype, okay. so he knew it's not. It's not. It's not certainly. But yeah, you guys want to use that on these guys? You absolutely can do that. I wonder what happens when it uh, when you don't succeed. It's a good question. Um, Luminous making Arcana roll. He's... Oh boy, I'm so good at those. Cannot, if you'd rather, cannot... you could make an integrity roll. Couldn't we just I would go rather. to a place where we can get into the sewers if we de- there is nothing here? You know. Um, I mean, I don't know that anybody just knows of like a standing entrance to the sewers. Uh, what is this, yeah, the Ninja I'm... Turtles? <laughs> yeah, no, I would not. Uh, f- Fourteen. Fourteen. I mean, based on what man. happened last time, you think that maybe, like, it might not always even have to be violent. Like, theoretically, if you or someone put that lipstick on, walked outside, and, like, visibly, like, tripped and harmed yourself in front of all those people, they might all run over and protect you, and everybody else could run off without being followed for, you know, the duration of it. But then we'd go over to protect him as well. If you didn't witness it, you wouldn't. You, you wouldn't have to... You, not only would you not have to see it, you'd have to make sure not to hear it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> because Duchess was in the other room and she came running she on over. Heard, she heard it occur. Yeah. Well, if we want to try that. That's a... Hmm. But question I think it would draw a lot of attention to the fact that we have this sort of thing, though. No, because people don't remember. Where we could create a distraction. I mean, that was the idea. That is part of it, yeah. Okay. Leo will chime in and say, uh, apologies, uh, Duchess. Oh, yeah, yes, theoretically, if it were to um, be used, the people, well, it's actually very interesting. They wouldn't realize that they were being charmed, and it's actually the perfect thing to use against spies, because they don't have to be slightly aware that anything was amiss. They, they would find a way to... Uh, you know, kind of justify it in their minds after the fact. Uh, you sound a little bit different, Leo. Are you sorry? Sick or something? No, 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 no. He sounds perfectly fine. To yeah, me. <laughs> sounds absolutely on point. Yeah. <laughs> I am a little sick, thank you. <laughs> Let me tell you about it. Uh, you sound you sound more like Marlon Brando. Or something. Really? <laughs> like Marlon Brando? Okay. It's like someone trying to be Marlon Brando oh, on the day okay. of my daughter on the day of my daughter's oh. wedding. It, it it sounds like that might work, but it's not reliable. So what's the backup plan if it doesn't work? Well, at least we get to see Luminous. Well, we get to walk upon whoever does it tripping. And uh, No, no, you wouldn't want to see it. Is the no, problem. No, no. <laughs> or at least uh, 
he'll walk back in dejected that no one helped him out. Yeah, I'll, I'll roll this for Leo, because he because he had rolled so high on this the thing. Leo would suggest that someone go out and do this, and the rest of you would try to sneak out a different door. Like, while they're right. distracted. Kind of. Sure. But he offers no guarantees it would work, because it is a prototype. Um, so, what we what I could do is I could put the lipstick on. I could go outside and do it. You guys, somebody stay in here, cover their ears so they can't see, but look out the window. If they see everybody running, then that means it works. Look out if the they window, don't, but don't look at you. No, no, because they would only be looking out the window. I will do it around the corner where they can't see. Does it work it, like if, if he puts on the lipstick outside the door and then let's say there's a sound of like someone falling into trash cans right but no ow no sound comes out of luminous's mouth so we don't know it's him that fell would we still be compelled to go out and go and check it, so you're and you're kind of just bringing up a point of how it has it like the fact that you ran in and did it was me just kind of turning up the volume on everything um, I will say you don't have to see it. If they witness someone being harmed, they would do it. But in the circumstances you're describing, they they might then that might not trigger it. Yes. It, it you know it really is you're yes. supposed to see it. But even if somebody hears it, I think it would trigger it, there because it is supposed to be a very powerful thing. It, thing it, is though, is I'd have to make a sound because if one of those agents isn't looking, then I'd have to make sure they could hear me so they could come over. This equation has t too many unknown variables. Yeah, I think so, too. All right. I, I like the first plan, just go to a crowded place and slip away. All right. Is it still... Do we still only have two hours until Willie <laughs> closes? <laughs> we talk about 45 this. minutes. Okay. You sure I you don't want to do this tomorrow, Bob? us can slip away, though, right? I, I think probably Duchess and Luminous should make it to the cleaners. Because she's a tune and he's the guy with the money. And maybe you don't want to bring all the money, but as uh, Duchess said, small amounts of money to test them, you know, and start a relationship. Meanwhile, the rest of us working on uh, helping them to slip away. How about that? That works. That actually is that, a good plan. That works. Split the party. Let's do it. Yeah. What do you think? A thousand each or like the gold? Oh, how much to give them? How much was it total again? I would do like, I don't it know. It was like 200,000, right? Am I imagining that? It was, it was, yeah, 100. It was, it was something like that. I thought it was like 100,000 per bag. So I thought it was like. I, th I think I did the, the reason he, I changed he, it to two bags is because that would have taken two. Yeah. Like, he split it up into two bags to make it more believable it would fit. Because since it's all in single, it's all in one, it's all in one simoleon bills. Yes. So it's 100,000? Uh, let me, let me, I'll just go back and just yeah. determine this. Uh, uh, 100, you, yes, you have 100,000 simoleons. You have removed, um, you know, the six of you have removed, like... We, uh, we each took a $100 stack. Each for took 100, yeah, Dom each 100 Dominic. out. So that would be 600, plus a few more for old Dominic. <laughs> um, probably a thousand gone. So yeah, <laughs> so there's probably 99,000 simoleons thereabouts. On the wall. So, so like a thousand, a thousand each? A thousand each would be ten stacks. I think that's believable. Yeah. If you just get one thousand each of you, that'd be believable too that you need it all cleaned. Yeah. But you where did you get all, all, all this money from? We found it. <laughs> like literally, I'm not even gonna We found it. That's all anybody needs to know, because it's true. Yes. <laughs> but are you are you part of the feds too? I like, found actually, it, you are part of the feds. I want huh? to say. <laughs> Where are you going to station now? I found it. He found it. it. Oh. All right. I am I mean, yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Let's yeah. One hour. Uh, <laughs> Screx says, oh, can I have some? And everyone's just like, all right, let's go. <laughs> 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 uh, all right. Uh, however, Duchess or Luminous can figure out how to uh, lose them, go ahead. For now, I'll just tend to a bar. I feel like I'm just a normal bar owner. Small business owner. Shouldn't, no, hold on. It shouldn't be you and Duchess who do it. Uh, Someone said me and Luminous it. earlier. So, oh, I'm, so. I meant to say Dominic, but it doesn't matter. Whoever you guys is best. Whoever is best. 
but I think Duchess should be there because she's a tune and at least yeah, one of the uh, cleaners is tune. Uh, so con connected. Good luck. I, I have some errands I want to run, so I can go out and try and pull a few of them off anyways. And before you leave. Them. Help them escape. By all means, go ahead. Yeah. I want to go back to the library. Have I finished either, either of those books yet, Philip? Yeah. The library? Yeah. This hour, you, you yeah, finished I'm gonna go, those books, yeah. I'm going to go return, return the books, books, see if I can find anything else. Yeah. That's, that's your priority? You're scared of those librarians, huh? You, you have a little more time. There, it, it's, yeah, it's, it's only a, been like it's a not a one too. day checkout. <laughs> no, no, yeah. it, it, it's it's not that. It's just the principal. Plus, there's more research at this point. Yeah, I don't sense. need them anymore. But Dominic tries to burn them all the time. Um. Yeah. Hey. All right. So, rain. um, Scrack will do that. Uh, Chanel, Leo, and Dominic are just going to try to draw other people. Duchess and Luminous will hope to to even if they get tails we'll try to lose them that's the idea here duchess and luminous are you two going to stay together as you go to these places or are you splitting up and going to the separate places each of you is going to like have like a bag with a thousand simoleons in it i'd imagine we'd leave together and if we're being followed too closely then we would split up and deal with our tails individually can i have a suggestion leo and i leave with them and then Leo and I create a distraction. Leo could channel uh, some spirit and do some magic uh, light show, whatnot. Oh, I mean, I think so... you should do that away and from I... us. <laughs> yeah. Like, I don't, no. there's no reason for us all to leave the four of us because then people will see you guys. They'll see us split off, and then one guy will follow us. Like, I, I don't, I don't think yeah. there's a. Yeah, like, you if you two... want to make a distraction, make a distraction. But yeah, you no two leave to do first next to us and make the distraction, and then we'll. Slip out. Yeah, yeah, but if you leave first, the guys who follow you. Then we don't leave first. No, there's no reason we have to leave first. But because if you start that... a distraction out of one door, we go through a different door. Okay. It's fine. We don't have to yeah. be together. That, that sounds good. Okay. Whatever. I'm. Hmm. All right, Where are we so... meeting up after all of this? Back here. Where else? Same place every time. <laughs> yes. Yeah, they know yeah. you guys come here, so that's fine. Yeah. Uh, um, I'll go literally there, there, obviously, there. and you know. Go to the library, basically. I mean, I guess we could go to my apartment if you guys really want mm -hmm. a different place, but like, I don't know that it'll fit everybody. God, your husband. Uh, I mean, I've got my own apartment now, so it's oh, okay. Man. Freddy's oh gonna be real bad. Please bring everyone back. Freddy will not Freddy's not home yet. Thank you very much. You don't need Freddy to bring that up. Freddy will not be passive aggressive about that at all. If you do. I'll just be actually aggressive. Yeah. He'll be. No, he'll be passive aggressive. Who am I kidding? I think Freddy's. Um, <laughs> Freddy's. Oh, poor Freddy. Oh, poor Freddy. All right. So, um, the group is basically. So, my understanding here is basically like, even though there may be some interesting timing things, it's that it's that four of you are going to try to draw people off. The other two will try to leave, and if anyone winds up going with Duchess and Luminous, uh, they will attempt to sort of lose them. But Duchess and Luminous are going to stick together. Is At plan? first, yes. At first, and then yeah. they're able to. We'll, we'll split places. if we need to. Split yeah. if we need to. Okay, perfect. So in that case, I, um, I will also like to make a note, like asking Dominic where or Ambrosia where exactly it is, so we know exactly <laughs> where Ambrosia we're going. Ambrosia will tell you exactly where the two locations are. Uh, they are both in um, Hollyberry. Or I'm pretty sure they're both in Hollyberry. I don't want to have to stop and ask directions. They're they're both in Hollyberry. Yes. Okay. Um, so, great. Uh, okay, cool. Uh, so, are you guys, um, is, uh... I will take one of the maps with me, just in case. <laughs> sure. Uh, alright, so in that map, case... Map? Did you say map? <laughs> give me the maps. I need them. <laughs> uh, in that case, I need you all, um, I basically need Duchess and Luminous to make stealth checks. Um, but before you do that, I'm gonna kind of have the rest of the group make uh i really need you. Check. It, it kind of is performance check but if you want to argue it should be something else i will allow the attempt um based on how well that group goes will determine sort of the the benefits of the, 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 the duchess and luminous receipt can i make oh i don't know how to say this can, i want to try and be sneaky but not be but like i want to look like i'm trying to be sneaky. that's can called I do that? that's performance would that be performance okay yes. Uh, I'm proficient in performance, so can we also have Ambrosia see. try to draw off? You can. Detail? That will oh. just 
largely, I mean, because now that's, now that's five, now this is seven people all walking out. Uh, so, yeah, absolutely. If you want Ambrosia to kind of go yeah, out too, Ambrosia. that's a great place. Yeah, let's take a, make it a take party. Take a walk around the block. Fifteen. A couple times. Yeah. A couple, couple times, times. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, um, I... every, and so Ambrosia <laughs> will make a performance. Like Everett, so, uh, so I need Ambrosia. I'll want, roll one for Leo as well. Uh, it's upside down, 20? sorry. And for, really for, 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 for Leo. Wow. Leo did something good. No, that was Ambrosia. <laughs> okay. Nice. Po poor Leo. No. Are you fucking kidding me? At least one person should go around the back, because if there is people around the back, then... You know what Ambrosia will say? Ambrosia's like, I'll go at the back in case anyone's there, and if not, I'll walk to the front and do it. With her 20, she got it all figured out. Uh, let's roll for a Leo. Leo's is not as good. <laughs> Leo's is some real do 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 la la Classic la Leo. right down the Shoppers. street I'm walking kind of energy <laughs> um literally could have switched to any of the other souls <laughs> like a more useful soul you could have done that but you didn't no it's okay I'm, I'll go slower this way mm. <laughs> <laughs> no, really um, okay don't talk to uh, the other so Scrack has a 15 Dominic uh, what did you roll for your per, uh, performance that one. Nat one. Okay. Wait, I get a clue for a nat one. You get a clue for a nat That's one. That's my first nat one ever. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, Congrats, Chanel, what did man. you get? Hooray! I haven't rolled yet. Can I do maybe a All you had to do was jeopardize our Can mission. I do some whip shenanigans? You know, like I go that walk down in the middle of the rather, street. So rather than being deceptive, my you just want to like start cracking your whip, make a scene. Go ahead and make an acrobatics roll. That's fine. Sure. 17 plus 2. Okay, sure. Chanel takes a different route. Chanel starts running down the street, pulls out her whip, starts swinging from a lamppost. Um, and since she's so light, it doesn't bend to the lamppost. Uh, and so as this mannequin swings through that and then tries to swing onto another one. Uh, okay, with that, um, we have uh, Ambrosia went out. Ambrosia did attract a tail perfectly. Um... And is drawing that one off. So that's the... So there's there are, in fact, five. So that's four more. Um, Scrack has a thing. Dominic, not so good. The other one, not so good. Uh, but still, the numbers on this. Also, Duchess and Luminous. At advantage, will you both make a stealth roll? Oh, advantage. Thank you. Oh, that's, that's funny. Thank God that was advantage. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, 19. 19. Right. Oh, 21. Perception. What's that? There's a 21 for me. 21 and a 19. So, yeah. um, I don't even, I, I suppose, actually, I'm going to roll this for the, uh, uh, I will roll this for the, uh, uh, um, just for the posterity of it. So as it turns out, um, Duchess and Luminous, you guys go, Dominic, you don't do a good job of looking, like, like, inconspicuous, and somebody does, but somebody still follows you, but, like, uh, actually, what's your passive? 15. You don't see them. <laughs> um, can I do, can I do an active perception check or whatever? You can make an active perception check, that's fine, sure. <laughs> oh crap, it's a four plus uh, six, ten, nothing. <laughs> a ten? Actually, a mm. ten does it because this person rolled terribly, and I was assuming it's because they're just walking behind you like. Can I? As you swing. So, Chanel, you have drawn someone off. Scrack, you have also drawn off one of the people because they collectively rolled so bad on their insight into what's going on. That despite Dom, like, and then also just because they snip snuck so well, uh, Luminous and Duchess, you guys round three corners. Duchess, you're doing good, like, turnabouts and all this stuff. You kind of run down an alley. You go out there. At this point, would you both make perception checks? You do not see anyone cleanly surrounded. I feel like I should take notes from this. <laughs> yeah. I can teach you anytime. Yeah. Then what do I do? And then, uh, perception, that's 22. Okay. 20. Um, neither of you notice any tails on you. As far as you can tell, um, there were five tails and seven of you, and the five tails went to the other people. Which means Leo... We're damn good, Duchess. 
Leo, Chanel, Scrack going to the Naturally. library. Dominic just doing whatever. They are all, and Ambrosia taking a leisurely walk. They are all being followed. So that was, uh, that was just a success for the group. All right. Hey. <laughs> yeah, or that. was it? <laughs> I'll just go to the local corner store. Better to, uh... Exactly. All right, so um, in that case, uh, Duchess and Luminous are going to head to um, a uh, some Willie the Washer. Uh, you're going to go to Willie the Washer first. Yes. Uh, since w- would would Duchess know any lingo like of what someone would say when they wanted to ask someone to launder the, you know what I mean? The, make would a, she have any kind of make like, a make a flat intelligence yeah. roll, kind of like a no roll. Let's see if you. I would have asked Ambrosia, like, what, if there was any uh, procedure. She, ten. Oh, you would have asked Ambrosia if there was any procedure. Um, yeah. Uh, with a ten, I, you kind of, uh, I, you suspect that maybe what you do is you bring some, in fact, we can retroactively say you would have done this and maybe you had something in the back room. Um, you should bring the money in a garment bag. So you open the garment bag and say, we need this cleaned at a rush rate or whatever, you know, they're saying. Mm-hmm. And they'll they'll sort of tell you some some tricky way that it will work. Um, so you guys are going to Willie the Washer first. Mm-hmm. Wonderful. Um, you find it. It's a it's a nice storefront. There's a sort of like cheesy kind of like neon sign of this washing machine with a face just kind of going ah, 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 <laughs> you know across the way. Um, you guys you know can exchange a look. Uh, who's going to be? You both have a garment bag that you're carrying. So are they both tunes, Willie and Dryer? From uh, what we yeah, know, from as far as you understand, <laughs> yes, as far as we know. indicated they are both tunes. Um, oh, that's a good question, though. I'll do Duchess, uh, or I'll do this one because um, the little smiling washing machine reminds me of Freddy. Okay. So, Duchess, uh, you're going to go in. Mm hmm. Uh. Duchess, well, wait, it's I'm, not. Are you going in too, Luminous? Like, are we. Am I coming with you just to make sure, or do you just want to by yourself? I mean, I think you should go in but stand kind of like behind me so that it looks like you're like a bodyguard or whatever. Like don't That's what I was it, but like yeah. just make it seem like, cause someone who's coming in to launder money probably wouldn't come in unguarded, right? Yeah, so, that's exactly I, I what look, I was thinking. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, great. So that's what I'm doing. So um, you guys enter. Uh, the scene is as chaotic as one would expect. And so to Luminous, this is like, oh my gosh, it's like Duchess's house again. To Duchess, you're just like, this is Tuesday. Oh, good, it's like home. It's like normal. <laughs> um, behind the counter, there are like various like animated, you know, like steam whistles and things just like screaming at each other as all of these, as both real and animated bursts of steam are like washing out around the dry cleaner. Um, uh, area, you hear a lot of cries back there like, Hey! Who brought a soda back here? This is a dry cleaner! And one of them goes, That means no alcohol! The soda is fine! Um, <laughs> like, yeah, but you don't rub it into linen! They're, yeah, just, it's just shenanigans the whole time. You know, they're... they're uh, it's what you'd expect. Um, you do it if it's baking soda. Behind the counter... Uh-huh. There you go. Uh, behind the counter, however, uh, is a rat folk... Uh, non-animated, um, just looking very flustered and kind of using using a tail to like take some hangers from a toon who's who's handing a bunch of uh, of garments, uh, you know, uh, t- like a like a sort of humanoid or elf-like toon, kind of with weird proportions, just an ink to sort of saying like and and, and make it snappy. I gotta get I gotta get that suit back because I got a hot date tonight. <laughs> I sure hope Mother likes this restaurant I'm taking her to. <laughs> um, the rat folks like great, cool, you know. Uh, Duchess, you wait a few moments. Uh, it seems like most people are literally just bringing in weird articles of clothing. Again, nothing weird for you, luminous. This place is a, is a, is insanity. <laughs> but Duchess, eventually, your sort of number comes to the counter. And the uh, rat folk uh, kind of looks up. Uh, he looks kind of just like, he looks very tired. Yes, can I help you? Hi. Um, is, is there, is, is Willie in? 
Oh, sorry, Willie's Willie's not not here today. Okay. Or he's he's, um, he's stepped out. Stepped out. I'm sure, if there's if anything I, I can help you with. Yeah, I I was recommend. Re- <clears throat> I was recommended to see Willie. Uh, I have a you know a cleaning job that needs a bit of a rush. Oh, that is it. I mean, ma'am, it's fine. He just kind of pulls out a form. He's like, so just let me know. I assume it's is, if it's another if it's another mink stole or something. Just just let us know if it is animated and if the the animals still bite you. Uh, that would be just good no, to know. No, it's ahead not of time. animated um, at all. No. Oh. Yeah. Well, we mainly specialize in animated clothes, but. Uh, well, no, I've, for, I mean, good to know for for well, future can, reference. Can, I'm glad. Can I see the garment? I, w- I will look back at Luminous. I will... If it Unzips and, then... and kind yeah. of looks in. Oh, understood, of course. A rush job. That's um, a separate form called no form at all. I um, figured, yeah. Thank you. Uh, Foray uh, sort of takes this and says, the standard time to clean a garment like this is 24 hours for a rush job. Now, if you'd like to put a rush job on the rush job, that will add, and it, we 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 uh, we charge a ten percent fee to the value of the garment. And if you need an actual rush job on this rush job, uh, do you need this by end of day? How much does it cost to get it by end of day? That would be an additional fifteen percent. So twenty five total. Ooh. Mm. Mm. And of course, if we find that this garment um, is is. Uh, is not actually couture. If this is just like a, you know, like a, a, a knockoff, oh, um, sir. we'll only be able to get you, you know, between thirty and forty percent uh, mm. of mm. the value of the. Garment. That makes sense. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Which, for the record, is how much Chanel got from an actual bank. So that's, yeah. they're fine to take counterfeit money if it's good enough. You know that kind of stuff. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um. Uh. That just will turn back to Luminous Mick. 24 hours or, or today? I'll like lean in to like whisper mm-hmm. and I'll just be like, yeah, no, the 24 hours sounds good. We can definitely do okay. that. Okay, yes. Oh no, we don't need a, we don't need to rush the rush job. Understood, you know. the rush job doesn't need to be rushed. Mm-hmm. Wonderful, then we'll take this here and assuming everything's in order, we'll have this for you tomorrow. Uh, we say 24 hours, but honestly, uh, kind of just writes a, writes a claim ticket for you. Uh, if you come back by, uh, probably at noon tomorrow. Oh, it's a Saturday, isn't it? Um, better make it 2 p.m. It? tomorrow. It is, yeah. Uh, better <laughs> make it around 2 p.m. tomorrow. We'll have this for you. Um, and we'll, don't lose we'll... your claim ticket. Mm, That's... Never. Uh, will Willie be in tomorrow? As a Saturday, probably Willie. Uh, Willie's probably getting a, a, a quick start on the weekend here. Um, are you, uh, the, the, the kind of rat folk looks and says, oh, do you have another garment? Kind of looking at Luminous. No, no. Um, he does not. It's more just, uh, you know, personal business. The rat folk kind of leans forward. Um, if you're trying to find Willie because you might have a, um, a large collection of garments such as this you'd like to clean, um, I can, I can definitely tell him, uh, he would probably be very interested in talking to you, um, provided uh, this garment is not too much trouble for us to clean. Um, uh, miss, um, if you kind of looking at that garment, is that of a similar vintage as this one that you have back there? Um, it might be. Mm-hmm. I understand. Yes. Um, I'll tell you what. Uh, I will. I will mention this to Willie. He might be interested in more business with you if you have if you have a larger wardrobe to have cleaned. Um, he, don't lose your claim ticket. Uh, <laughs> but no, you can I come understand. Back around to I tomorrow. mostly just want to wanted to ask Willie a couple questions about his uh, techniques when he irons things. Lever. Let's see if this. I am. Thank you. To do <laughs> yeah. With a four on the roll, um, make an insight <laughs> roll real quick. For me. 
Uh huh. Uh, insight, insight, insight. Sixteen. You could, yeah, insight. Uh, this person has no idea what you're talking about, and kind of stammers out a thing of like, yes, it. Willie's techniques, of course. Definitely, mm-hmm. Willie will be more than happy to assure you that your garments are laundered in the most um, careful and um, untraceable of ways. Uh, so takes the garment Sorry. bag from you. Mm-hmm. Take two. One second. No. Um, let's try this then. Can you? What's your name? Oh. Uh, my name's Kerforsk. Mm, that's so beautiful. Um, I'm going to call you Carrie. Um, oh, wow. Well, was, I like Carrie. Yeah. Carrie, um, when are you going to see Willie? I mean, I know. Or do you have his con? Like, I'm not asking for his contact info, but if you're if you yes, see him, I can I can I can get a message to Willie. Okay. On, that would help. A, a Let him know business. that I will be picking the, the garment up tomorrow at 2 p.m. And that if he so, so finds it in his busy schedule to talk to me about his specific ironing techniques um, and t- tell him it, it's about ironing techniques well, it's, and not it's, it's just, mostly a chemical process I understand that I understand clothing. that Carrie darling no I understand mm. I'm telling you you need to mention the act of ironing <laughs> to Willie because I'm specifically interested in his ironing techniques not the chemicals make a persuasion <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. Ooh, 19 plus 5, 24. Ooh. <laughs> you get the sense, because you already rolled a fairly good thing. Kerforsh or Carrie has mm-hmm. no idea about the ironing, but you've you've repeated it a few, enough times that this person will will deliver this message. You Perfect. <laughs> Thank you so much, Carrie. You you are just Oh wow. Well. Absolutely amazing. Thank you. Know you. That. We, we appreciate your business. Um, mm-hmm. Well, um, and, and bring us any other garments. Kind of. You, you also get the sense. Carrie keeps looking at that garment and is just like, "Oh my gosh, Willie would really like for us to be doing that one too." Man, what if that's you know? Uh, mm-hmm. Carrie may be suspecting you're gonna you're trying out different places. So Carrie's you know like, hmm, well, anything we can do to make this more you know etc. Um, mm-hmm. So uh, you two are able to step out. Uh, you have a claim ticket now. Now, just to be clear, this is a claim ticket effectively worth 900 simoleons. <laughs> Into the booby pocket. <laughs> well, hey! Welcome to the joint, says everything else down there. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> hey! Hey! A newcomer! Ooh, you must be valuable. Come and bounce a while. Um, so, uh... Uh, I don't see machine there. If anybody's just joining in right now, they're like, what the fuck? What the fuck is this? <laughs> Boopy bucket. <laughs> um, wonderful. What? So, uh, Luminous and Duchess, you still have one more uh, back here. Now, Duchess, are you... Are you... Uh... Oh, um, I'll, I'll stay for this last bit, and then I'll head off. Understood. Okay, it's so like Luminous 10, and Duchess, minutes. you now are going to head over to um, Dryer Drive. Ambrosia was right about one thing. Is it approach, a fruit? Is it a fruit thing? It is. A, it does seem to be like a. It's like it's. It says like dryer Dreyfus, like smoked meats, um, and other assorted sun dried sundries. Uh, that's what the sign says. Um, this does not have an animated light up sign. Instead, it has a very, very, um, like like painted like trying to look very serious picture of this dryer with like a face kind of like eyes on top and like the the thing and like the dryer's just trying to look really serious and looks very intense. Uh, the painting is a little bad. Um, so uh, you sort of see that. It's just one painting. Just just like, it's like a, it's like, it's like a painted, you know, like billboard kind of thing. It's just like above, above this thing here, just in kind of like Hollyberry. Um, Duchess, okay. you, you don't even think you've ever passed on the street before and every, all the businesses on the street just look weird. Outside of this place, uh, there are two lines forming. (laughs) I really like cartoons. Uh, There's two lines going into this shop. One line says dried goods. 
And this line is short and just has a few kind of like little old lady tunes and like various people lined up for it. The other line is longer and is full of nothing but thugs and criminals. <laughs> and it goes to a door that says dried goods. <laughs> Tracks that absolutely tracks. Okay. Um, Luminous, uh, could you make a perception check? For me? <laughs> sure thing. Oh, this. You didn't think this is not as reputable. <laughs> eighteen. An eighteen, huh? Oh man, should I double down now? I'll be fine. Actually, yeah, I'd should double I double down? down? No, you double double down. down. I'm just gonna okay. give you a quick little clue here. You should double down. Okay. Maybe we should just turn around and give Willie the money back. <laughs> <Some> money. <laughs> right? Okay, I hope a 20, because I got two ones, is sufficient. A 20 is exactly what you needed. Okay. So Luminous, good. you're kind of like, something feels weird, and you have this, like, maybe it's the maybe it's the scent of all this dried stuff that just makes you want something sweet like ice cream in your mouth so bad. But you're like, no, no, no. And you, something's not right. And you just kind of follow not your nose but your senses and and you go and you look down this like narrow alley next to the structure and you kind of peek kind of up over some stuff as you kind of like have walked past this long line of crooks and they're all carrying like i've got a coffee can i've got a piggy bank i've got a i've got a uh, a burlap sack covered in blood like stains <laughs> um, you know, I've got a up, upside down football helmet my hands on with bills sticking out of it. You know, just idiots. Um, but uh, as you sort of like look around the side, you see that towards the back of this building, there is a there is a police van. <laughs> and it's like, it's like in The Simpsons when Homer goes to claim his free boat. And it's just yeah. the police waiting for him. Yeah, that's exactly what I thought. Okay. And you literally notice this, like, or it's like it's more like a police, like, like, like melon truck or something. Because out of the top of the building, you do see some tunes who are like have like gags in their mouth, like falling out of a window into this thing. So this seems to be some kind of like place where they're like just collecting criminals. Uh. <laughs> Just, I think Ambrosia had the wrong idea about this place. <laughs> no, I think she had the right idea, but she just misinterpreted all of the information she had. Every that sounds exactly thing. what I just said. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. Do you yeah, wanna... so we don't have to... I mean, if yeah, you want no. like, mm. some dried... Some not that dried line is much goods, shorter. But some, yeah, do you want some I mean, action? yeah, but I don't want to walk in there with this and... Yeah, fair enough. Um, no. Do you want to go back and turn that into, or do you want to just hang on to that and... Let's just hang on. It'd be weird to come back. And... Yeah, all right. We can we can definitely do that. Yeah. Yeah, no, no, I'm, I'm fine with this place. I'll check it out later in my own time. That makes sense. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> we'll turn uh, around. Duchess will go up to kind of the most obvious ones, and, and just going to be like... Most obvious criminals? Yeah, in the line who, okay. who are... Or not, not most obvious criminals, the ones that they're are... They're all obvious. The, the ones that are the worst at hiding the bag, at least. Or okay, you know, sure. the, concealing it. Sure. Um, and she will give them... She will at least give them, like, um, butcher paper to wrap it in. Okay. You kind and of walk she, up to this, like, mm -hmm. very, like, squirrely-eyed kind of elf who just, like, mm -hmm. looks like death. And just, like blinks as you come and it's actually this this elf is just holding like money there's no bag it's just like yeah absolutely yeah. Money. here's the, the butcher paper like like look look i get it we're all busy you gotta try you gotta try at least come on <laughs> yeah. bites on his knife he takes the butcher paper from you all right that's... it just starts carefully letting all the coins that he's clutching just kind of like fall into the butcher paper, you know. All right. Yeah, there you go. At least, yeah, there you go. Got it. Got to put in some effort. Uh, do wrong right. Yeah, the knife is about to hold time. He takes the knife out. Duchess, you turn around and uh, 
almost as if he is an elf, but I guess when in Toontown, and you hear the sound of a knife splitting through paper accidentally, and then, oh, fuck, and then just coins clattering crazy. As he was like, gosh, I just... Oh, don't worry, you're gonna go somewhere they can really just do all these stuff for you. Don't worry about it. You got this. Your troubles are soon over. I promise you. He just leans down and starts gathering it all up. Oh, okay. Um, and there's this other guy just, you know, holding a, uh, um, holding an urn of ashes, just going, <laughs> amateurs. <laughs> jingle, jingle, jingle. Yeah. All right. Yep. Let's, let's go, Luminous. Let's, yeah, uh, yeah, this is the last house. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> yeah. This place is making me sad. <laughs> me too. Well, I'm kind of ready for you guys to come to Dryer Dreyfus. And just the fact that your girl rolled a one on the Dryer Dreyfus casing job just made me so happy. <laughs> because it's just the degree to which these places are not even in terms of their quality level. Oh, man. All right. Like, yes, they seem. They do seem to be offering the service they are asking. I will not look inside the building. I will yes. <laughs> or even uh, outside. <laughs> That being said, uh, the the jokey nature of Toon stuff hiding a certain degree of uh, uh, kind of like, like you definitely suspect that Dryer Dreyfus, whether or not he works for Irene, whether or not whatever, he's clearly like in league with the, you know, with the STPD. He's he's clearly like you know either he's been turned by them or he's in their pocket or he's a plant for them, you know, whatever degree. Like jokes aside, that is yes. an entity who's working with them. So, yeah. But the less we draw, more attention to ourselves. Exactly. From... Um, well, in that case, uh, law you guys, enforcement. Uh, basically, everyone is now kind of out and about, um, and going to just and kind hop of off. return. Yes, and hop off. And honestly, guys, I think I, I think this seems kind of like a correct stopping point for the evening as well. Oh. Um, so yes. Oh, you definitely hop off because I'll do some wrap up and talk about stuff. Okay. Know, right? Live your okay. life. But yes, uh, I think we'll probably, because uh, um, uh, honestly, we'll just you guys will reconvene Friday night uh, after some uh, some strolls having uh, distracted some very irritated uh, military. I legit people. thought you meant this Friday. I was like, what the hell? We're not scheduled. Oh, sorry. Yes, it is. I'm, <laughs> I'm trying to now say what the dates yes. are of the thing. Yes. Um, but thanks. Oh, did I we have a raid? We sure we did. did. Oh, well, we thank sure you for... I, I don't know if anyone from the raid is still around, but thanks for coming, raiders. Uh, hi. Yeah, uh, Dominic mentioned it earlier. Um, yes. Uh, oh, oh, sorry if I didn't, I didn't hear that. Um, but, uh, but thank you all so much. Um, uh, that was a fun session of this of this wild and weird noir game. Um, I like how you guys, yeah, just in game were able to stay to stay still for about like three hours. <laughs> yeah. It, um, what should we do next? <laughs> hell, all right, yeah, let's lay low. All right, we can't. We're not laying low. Let's go launder money. <laughs> yeah. Let's go commit crimes. <laughs> that uh, tracks. Um. So, uh, so perfect. Um, so, uh, well, thank you all so much for watching. We, uh, we really appreciate that. If you like our channel, please follow and or subscribe if you're able to do so. Linking Amazon Twitch accounts to their Amazon Prime accounts to Twitch and all that jazz. Um, we have some other crazy games on this channel. On Fridays, we have Blood from a Stone, our horror game. That had a, had a uh, pretty, pretty bloodthirsty episode last week. Um, so we are entering an all new domain of dread. Um, this coming Friday, uh, so kind of like a it's like a fresh start in some ways. Although there's a couple of characters from previous series carrying over, and that's going to be a sort of retro future uh, sci-fi horror setting called Rocket Base 95. Really looking forward to that. It's going to be a lot of fun. We have a lot of sci-fi on the channel, kind of all of a sudden, because then on Sundays and Mondays we have two Star Wars games running. On Sundays we have Luminous Beings. On Mondays we have uh, Crude Matter. I definitely recommend checking those out. Uh, this the next two are going to be a lot of fun. I just want to say that. Um, and then uh, beyond that, uh, we have this game uh, next Tuesday, unless we wind up taking off next Tuesday because we were supposed to take off this week, but now nah, that might be next week instead. In any event, I'll post about that later. Um, but in any event, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I want to say thank you to all of our wonderful players. And until next time, good night and good noir. <laughs>